I do have him in the house. Maria, my wife, was here. And check this out. This is how this works. We've got a two by two about this size here that I got from John. This is two by two, right, John? Yes. Okay, and it's 400 watts. Now we have a uh, 800 watt space heater that has kind of the fluid oil on the inside that you move around and plug in from room to room. And that's 1800 watts. A lot more expensive to run. Okay. So it was cold this winter, and we've only got a couple of these right now. We totally shut down our forest air heating completely in the house. Haven't used it for three years. We have more propane built for that because we're using our fireplaces and starting to integrate these in. So, she had one of these roll around 1800 watt heaters in our bathroom because she said when I get up in the morning, she's a nurse, she might have to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning, you know, start getting ready to go to work. It's cold. So she had this 1800 watt heater, and I said, okay, she's heating it, and then all of a sudden Michael came up, you know, in his room, he goes, hey, I'm cold. Dude, you know, my room's cold as well. What am I, John Liver? You know? Okay, let's give him that 1800 watt heater. So we gave it to him, and then I took mine, and guess where mine was? Just like this, different picture, I keep mine underneath my desk in my office where I work at home because it just heats my body, okay? I took it out, I took it in the bathroom, plugged it in, she used it for about two or three days, and after about two or three days I said, okay, what's the results? She said, you know, That's 400 watts, the other one's 1800 watts. That actually heats me up more, it's better, and I said, why? She said, because the other one, the heat would just go straight up, and we got, you know, high ceilings in our house and in the bathroom, so the heat would just go straight up. This thing here emits right on you like the sun is shining on you. And she said, it would heat me up much better, much quicker than the 1800 watts, which is a huge savings. So here's my experience of this. You know, if you're just starting off, you could just get one or two and go around and plug them in different places. Because I just take the thing with me wherever I go. Because this is what it feels like. It feels like you've been in a hot tub. You know what it feels like to be in a hot tub, right? You get hot, you get out of the hot tub, and you could walk around in a cold room for about 20 minutes to a half hour, and it wouldn't matter that it was a cold room because your body's still hot. Well, I can walk away from my desk and feel the same way. My body is heated my body, not the room. So I'm not trying to heat up the whole room. I'm not trying to heat up the whole house. You only have to heat up your body and take it with you wherever you go if you want to do that. You might get tired of it, buy some more and plug it in wherever you want. But that's my sense and that's what it feels like to get heated up by these things. And it does help your joints, you know. Look, I'm not 23. <laughs> it certainly is heating, helping some of the, you know, my joints and my pains for using this. So I thought, well, okay, you know, if that works so well, we'll eventually get more as we can afford to buy more and put them in different places. I kind of wish that the cords came undone because what I'd like to do is just move wherever I want and then when summertime comes, I take the cord off the back, which doesn't have any yet, please put a word in there to somebody, right. <laughs> and, and hang it on the wall and there's no more cord, it's gone, right? So, I, I got thinking the other day, well, if this is so good, and, it, and we like it that much, there must be something out there in the world to do this in our bed. Because, you know, when you go to bed at night, the heater comes on, and makes noise, and it goes off. And the, the air is dry, and you don't like it. And all this stuff is going on, and it'd be nice just to open up the window and have some fresh air come in. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to have this thing plugged in and have the air coming through at the same time, cooling things off although it would be warming your body and warming your bed, but I thought there must be a far infrared heating blanket by now, wouldn't you think? Or something? Because, you know, electric blankets, EMF, is not good for your body, right? That's correct. And so I got on the internet and I started digging and looking, and I already spent enough time to look for the health issues of far infrared, and I'm sold, it's healthy. People are using it for saunas, you know, now in, in the United States. They're not using it like Europe and and Canada, places where it's cold, because they've already gotten on this whole bandwagon and the colder places. We haven't. We need to, but you know, we just figure, heck, let's just kill some more people in the world for oil, or who needs it, you know? I hate to say that, but in any case, we need to go this direction. So I got on the internet and I looked, 
And you know, I found some stupid little things, and finally I came across one company, and it's on our website. I've got a website, Personal Power Project. It's one of my websites in business, and this is why John's here. And on there, if you go look for the far infrared heating panels, which I advertise because I work for John and he's looking for more dealers, and I'd like to have 100 dealers in Santa Barbara, because it's not my main thing, so I could care less about the competition. I'd rather have everybody, everybody be healthy and get off of oil and our dependency. I don't care about that, and John's good to have lots of dealers. So after looking, I finally found a company and I put their information on the Personal Power Project website at the bottom of all this stuff. And I said to Maria, I said, well, let's try this out. Because it was specifically designed to shield against any EMF to make sure you were safe there. And instead of having it over the top of you, it's on the bed underneath you, like a heating pad. And it covers the whole entire bed, whether it's a small single or a queen size or a king size. Of course, we got the king size. The smallest is about 200. When you get up to the king size, it's around 400. And she looked at me and she says, $400? I've spent that much on just a bed cover. And it didn't do anything but just cover us, you know. So $400, I'm fine with spending that on a, on a pad. So we got the pad, we came in, we plugged it in, tried it out. And this is really weird because we find ourselves all the time going, I can't wait to go to bed. <laughs> it's like, you know, I thought we would say that when we were 80 or 90, I don't know. It's just weird to think that and feel that all the time. But what happens is you can dial the thing up to about 10. We would never put it up because it's too hot. We put it up to about 3, we get it in the bed, and it's like really warm. It can be whatever kind of sheets you want, it's warm. And then we crank it down to about 1 because it's too hot if you leave it that high. And I swear to God, from the day that I, we started sleeping on it, I just great sleep, never woke up, didn't go to the bathroom five or six times, just out all night long. And at one point we decided to put some kind of foam mattress in between it. We did, and it kind of isolated us from that. I had really horrible dreams. <laughs> Got up a couple times. The next day we ripped that thing off and just put it underneath your standard white you know, cover that you would put over the bed and put it underneath that. And we're back to, you know, just loving this thing. So then we talked to Michael and Lana and said, are you interested? And they're kind of like, mm, okay, you know. So they got some on their beds. And the first time they came out the next morning, they both said, wow, I've never dreamt that much. That's weird. <laughs> I've never slept and felt that good when I got up, you know. I mean. It's like kind of like laying in the sun, you know, like getting a suntan. You're just like feeling Pretty nice, yeah. Yeah, it, it's really it's relaxing. And, and so imagine it could be stormy outside, it could be cold, and you could have the wind blowing through your bedroom, but you're in this nice warm bed with this far infrared. It's healing. And you can also have these panels when you're out of bed to do the same thing. And I will truly start with just getting one or two and taking it around from room to room, wherever you want to go, and just get a sense of how it warms and how it feels and what you think you might need. Because in some room, you might want it on the ceiling. If you've got high ceilings like we do, then the ceiling's out. It's got to be on the walls. But the truth is, the closer it's to you, the less you have to heat everything else up. You just heat it up yourself. Yeah, what is the range of the photons travel for the high ceiling? 16 feet. Oh, 16, 16 feet. 16 feet. Yeah. Look at it. Think of it as like headlights on a car. The farther you get away from the car, the less intense. Exactly. Same, same kind of thing. Because it's invisible light is what it is. It just dissipates after 16 feet. Kind of dis well, it's... Again, it just... Are they photons? They're photons. Right. Yeah, the same electricity to photons? Yeah. yeah. It's the same energy as the sun. Is it the sun photon? Yeah. Well, it's photons is photon. I mean, it's light energy. Yeah. And that's what it feels like. It yeah. feels like the sun is on you. When I have this underneath my desk, I'm sitting there, I'm getting warm, and then all of a sudden I go, see, that feels great, but my back feels a little cold. Well, you know, that's 400 watts. I had an 1800 watt heater. If I get another one to stick it on the wall so it goes on my back, now we're up to 18, or we're up to 800. That's still half of the, you know, 16 or 18. Would you get saving. a suntan? You wouldn't get a suntan, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Try one and let me know how that works. <laughs> <You're all laughs> <fan enough>. <laughs> <laughs> one thing I do want to stress is that one of our big markets are renters who need heat. They're totally portable. They take four holes, and they take five minutes to install. And please, for all you people that are rehabbing and to have renters and you have tenants and properties, 
don't go out and buy these for your tennis and have them hang it on the wall. Because when they leave, I guarantee you, they're going. <laughs> I promise you that. I have to replace I AC found that. units. I found that to be true. That's right. <laughs> AC units on the outside of your properties that you're, you know, you're replacing those. You got to be careful. I guarantee you, they're going to take these. Now, what you can do is you can get to them and say, "Hey, look, you got some heating problems. You know, you're responsible for all utilities, but here's a solution." It may be a little more expensive upfront cost than that 1800 watt, but you're going to save money and it's going to pay for the 1800 watt eventually. And guess what? When you leave, you can take it with you wherever you go. Well, surprisingly, too, you know, I install in for heat, too, you know, hot water in for. We did uh, on three separate jobs, maybe in for, I can't remember, but on three separate jobs, we uh, priced it out for in for versus these. These were half the cost and stuff, and better heat. Then we're looking. We were looking at uh, twenty-five thousand dollars, depending on you know what efficiency the equipment had. Twenty-five thousand dollars for the in floor versus eleven thousand complete hardwired electrician, the whole thing. Right. Yeah. Right. And guess how much these cost to run once you put solar on your house? You, you know, you can ask the contractors association. <laughs> They have a zero bill. They have a net zero bill uh, every year. That's what I'm there, saying. Uh, sure. Energy credits on that? Not on these. No. They're, they haven't been out long enough. Right. They've still got work to do. But imagine yeah. that, you know, we had uh, Stu come in here a couple months ago and talk to us about solar. Okay, so I signed up with him. We got solar coming in our house now. Didn't cost a penny up front. It's like forty-two thousand dollars worth of solar that, with the rebates, is now down to about twenty-six thousand, and it's an option that you can choose to block your radiance. We paid another two thousand, which knocked it from twenty-six down to twenty-four, and we can take twenty years to pay it off. Our electric bill right now is about three hundred a month. That solar will cut that in half to about one hundred and fifty a month, and once the solar bill is paid off, which you can pay off anytime after five years, 100%, or just stretch it out for 20 years. I just didn't stretch it out because we live on a ridge top, and I promise you, the thought of me putting solar any place up there with 90 mile an hour wind was like, I really don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to have to be responsible for that. They're responsible for all of that. If it blows away and my neighbor wakes up and they've got solar on their house because it's mine, it's not my problem. I just pick up the phone and call up Solar City and say, hey, you guys got to come and fix it. But when that's all paid off, heating the house is free from the solar. You know some of our biggest dealers are solar, solar contractors. This is an add-on for them, right? And because John's looking for dealers, if you became a dealer, wherever you are, and you were doing these, and you also talked to people and said, hey, this is so great, you know, if you did this and you eventually got solar, this would all be free. And they said, well, that's a good idea. I'd like to get solar. You get a $400 referral from Solar City. And a referral from me. Too. And a referral from John for all the stuff he sells. So this is, you know, something you probably want to start off with yourself and then eventually go, hey, you know, let's do this. It's good stuff. Okay. <coughs> so is anybody got any questions? Uh, I'd just like to say that I've had Alexa, I've had this panel in my home for over three years now. And uh, I know the people Lexan? personally, yes. The and, Lexan panel. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's amazing, number one, the health benefits, which you can't really promote in this country without going through hell. Right. Uh, the health <laughs> benefits are incredible mm -hmm. from far infrared, and I've been in the health business for 50 years. But also, the economy of working with it is amazing because it's about a third of the cost of, of any other kind of heat. Right. Yeah. But, but you have this bonus as a health benefit. So, Mark? Yeah, it's incredible. We're just thrilled because we don't have to turn on our forest air heater. If you saw, we had a guy in here that did, uh, you know, forest air heating. Uh, Sean was in here talking about all the dust and all the mold and everything. If you saw what's inside your forest air heater, you'd probably go, let's turn that off real quick. <laughs> Yeah, because that's some scary stuff in there. So, uh, you know, if you've got any questions, you can ask John now. You can sign up to be a dealer. It doesn't cost anything to sign up to be a dealer. He'll, he'll supply you with the stuff. Um, 
You can call me up anytime. If you've got brochures to hand out there, John. Absolutely, you got cards. Brochures, cards. Feel free. So uh, why don't you guys grab some of that before you leave here? Um, if Sensei still out to talk to him next month, uh, we're going to be here back again. We're going to do talk about 401k uh, IRA investments. In fact. I was thinking just the other day, what am I going to do with my son and daughter? I set up an IRA for them, and I'm, you know, a checkbook control, all that kind of stuff, and we're eventually going to have investors come in to that IRA and do properties with them. But in the meantime, they've got some money in there that I put in the IRA, and I said, well, that's just sitting there. We may never need the money in the mode that we're doing our deals, so why don't we just take that money and go loan it out for rehabs at 10%, and who and whose rehabs are we loaning it out to right now? I just thought I can't imagine. So that's another thing that you do. You're gonna find out a bunch about that next month. So I suggest you seriously come back next month and, and check all that out. Okay. Thank you very much.